one of the things which I've been thinking about that's been quite apparent to me this past week or so, uh, which I'm going to share with you now quickly in this video, is that you really have to give in order to get. And you shouldn't be giving in order to receive something. I had the pleasure recently of meeting a, a young girl at a show where I performed and she was on holiday and she came up to me at the end of a really amazing night. The audience were incredible. One of the things she said to me when she bought my CD, which is available online in case any of you want to have a listen to that, she said to me, you have inspired me to sing more. And, and I thought, you know, recently I've been talking with a friend of mine about how much I wish when I was younger, I knew what I know now about the music and entertainment industry. And I really like to be able to share that with young people and help them to realize that it's possible if you have a dream and a talent that you're born with, the world is changing very much in terms of music and entertainment industries right now. However, in schools, I was told to go to university, and I did do very well at school. I got straight A's, but then I went on to college to study A-levels, and yes, higher education is great, but for me it was a complete waste of time because what I really should have been doing was stepping out onto the stage and seeing people come alive when I sing because that's what entertainers are here to do is to make people forget all the problems and wake up and just be happy. Yes, we'll always have problems. Everybody goes through hard times in life, but there's a way we deal with it. So, I said to her, this is my number. If you ever want any advice in the industry or any help with your singing, get in touch with me and ever since she's been texting me a lot and it's been a bit difficult because I'm so ambitious and I've got a million and one things I'm trying to do in order to achieve my dreams of, of inspiring the world and, and getting my message out there and my music but really wanted her to know the things I saw a younger version of myself in her and I received a message yesterday when I was feeling a little bit down about things weren't going so smoothly yesterday and I received this message from her dad. He ordered one of my posters online, one of my photos to be signed with a message for his daughter. He said, please can you sign this? I had Facebook request from her to connect with me and her profile picture is a picture of me with her at the show. and. The message, I replied to him saying, Hi Rob, thank you so much for your lovely request. It makes my heart sing to be able to help your beautiful daughter. She is very intelligent, I'm not mentioning her name, and she's a very talented young lady. She clearly has a loving father also. And he replied, Thank you so much, Gemma. She's a star. We love her to bits. We're very proud. You're an inspiration. She really looks up to you, and we can't thank you enough. I had a video from her of her little nephew. So sad because of that beautiful princess. Who's the beautiful princess? This one. Do you like her singing? Yeah. What do you think of her? beautiful. That's like so nice for me to, to hear these things. Um, another story about giving is a good friend of mine who's an incredibly talented pianist. He was feeling really down um, a couple of months back at, to the point of almost depression and that kills me to know that somebody with so much to give in this world is suffering from, because of being human, you know, sometimes we're negative and we get down and I really wanted to help him feel better about himself so I did, I invested the time and I was texting him and I was phoning him and a few weeks down the line I really, really got into some stuck situation with a video I was filming in Las Vegas. You can watch that on my YouTube channel by the way. It's, it's the video of Run, Run official video. 
and I really needed somebody to help me edit this video. As it goes, I was talking to him about it and he said, I can totally help you with that. I was like, really? He said, yeah, I do this all the time. I thought, he helped me just because he, he wanted to. And really, the more that you put into your career as well and to your relationships, to any aspects of our lives, the more you're going to get back. And you can't do it in a way thinking, ah, oh, okay, maybe I should do this or I should give more just because then they might give me more back. It doesn't work like that because that's not truly from the heart giving. It's already rewarding anyway to make somebody feel better about themselves and or to give something to the world because that's what we're supposed to be doing. If you don't feel good at a point in your life or during the day, it's most probably because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You gotta be guided, follow your heart, and you'll be happy. So that's enough for now. If you wanna connect with me, if you have any comments, do comment on this video at the bottom. Um, like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more to hear my music. Remember that life loves you, just follow your heart, be guided and you have special talents that no one else in the world has. 7.2 billion people alive today in this world. So thank you so much for listening. Take care.